Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. We've been keeping cl- close tabs on shares of Robinhood, which closed up on the day by about 2.8%. And in particular, one of the new items from the company, a new spending card, a cash card, if you will. And that's what they're calling it. And the Robinhood cash card really banks on consumer spending trends to try to unlock that next growth opportunity for Robinhood. So here's how it works for each transaction. Robinhood cash card customers, they decide whether to round up their change to the nearest dollar when they make purchases, and then they can go choose an investment asset to direct their spare change to. I had the opportunity to speak with Robinhood Chief Product Officer Aparna Chenapragada, who told Yahoo Finance more about what went into this product product launch and the decision to do this now. Take a listen. There are three really amazing things about this cash card. One, of course, as I just talked about, this idea of turning spare change into investing, into crypto or stocks, every little bit matters. The second thing is Robinhood itself will we'll, we'll give you a weekly bonus to be able to encourage you to invest um, in, again, like the, the, the assets of choice. And finally, we're working closely with leading retailers to be able to, again, give more rewards for customers for doing the right thing, for being able to like invest in their today as well as tomorrow. And Brad, one thing to think about here is the macro context here, right? I mean, I just this morning filled up gas, $6 per gallon. So people are, we're feeling the pain of having to spend more and more on things that we need. So how do we make sure that we help you in, in that moment? by be giving you more rewards, by be giving you more of a cash back or discounts, but at the same time, starting to help you to save for tomorrow because everybody feels the pain of inflation and investing is one of the most powerful ways to start to kind of like hedge against that. And so with this move, Robinhood really taking aim at some of the existing micro investing category leaders. You've already got Acorns out there, Stash, unicorn private companies that have more than $1 billion valuations. And so we're going to continue to watch to see exactly where this gives Robinhood even more of that growth opportunity among users who may be using some of those nickels and dimes from purchases and putting them into some of the roundups that Robinhood will do on a weekly basis and putting those towards investments, whether they be in equities or cryptocurrencies. It's a really smart move. I think the young demographic tends to be very investment savvy. We had a Gen Z guest on yesterday that showed those are the folks that are paying attention to crypto and how they need to save for retirement more so than even older generations. 